Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I will be talking about what is Get Metadata Activity in Azure Data Factory. So, before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel, Geek Coders, and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks, SQL, Python, and so on. So if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So before going to the video, I will dis I will be discussing what is get metadata activity and what are the fields are required to use this activity. So let me open my notepad. So while working in Azure Data Factory, sometimes we need to retrieve metadata information like like file size file existing whether the file is present or not file is schema okay and everything we want it we can use that get metadata activity to retrieve metadata information from the data set and then we can use that metadata information in subsequent activities so in that we have some options like column count we can check how many columns uh, present okay our total number of columns in the file or the table Content MD5, MD5 of the file exists whether the file or folder or table exists or not. It, If it is exist, then it returns true as return false. Item name, name of the file or a folder. Item type, if the source is a file, then it returns the file. If it is a folder, then it will return the folder. Last modified returns date time of a last modified file or a folder size return size of the file in bytes structure return list of columns names and type for tables and files okay so if you can see we have one more that is child item name so it will return the uh, the child item of a folder suppose suppose we have this one two three folder inside this we have one then we have two so if I give one, two, three, and if I want to use this get metadata activity, so I have to choose my child item uh, field, or we can say argument to find out how many, uh, how many files inside this folder present. Okay. So let me remove it and let me open my notepad. Sorry. Let me open my ADF. So if you can see here, this is the, uh, this is the source. Okay. And here we have this files files folder and inside this file folder we have two separate files if i go back then apart from this also we have some files present here like .csv .txt and so on now if i open my adf and if i click on plus button to create a pipeline so here i have i will give a proper name like get meta data and i will choose here get metadata in the setting i have to choose the data set let me open it i will change my link service and here it is container and that is done everything is correct now if I go down here, I have to pass my container name and in the field list, what will I pass? We have this child item, exist item name, item type, modified and so on. So first I will check, I will check this item name and let me run it. So my item name is source okay my item name is source because if i open this again and if i open my data set you can see i haven't defined any directory any file name here so what it done what he took what it took it took container name so for now let me open it again and let me define here files that is, this is the folder name let me run it again if i run it again it will give me 
a folder okay it it returns a folder so if i click on output item name is files sorry sorry it is uh, it is returning the name not the type so it is files right let me go back again let me open it again and let me type here testing dot csv so here what will i do i will debug it again so if i debug it again it will give me testing dot csv item name okay uh it is taking some time it is done so you can see we have item name testing dot csv that is the one property let me use another property you can see we have column count also okay now i want to count column how many columns we have it so let me debug it again and if you have noticed before this column count did not come but once i given a file name it came okay so notice that now if i click on this output button you can see we have two i guess column count so we have two column count now let me use uh, another field list or we can say parameter size let me debug it size means it will return in bytes so you can see size is 27 if i go back to my source and here also you can see testing.csv is 27 byte okay it is done let me choose another one let me choose structure let me debug it mm, i guess it is done yeah so see the structure of of the file is name id this is the column name and this is a type string so it will return the structure of the file so in this case it returns a header and then it returns the data type of it that is done now let me cancel it and let me let me use uh, another one that is last modified date so let me debug it again so it will return when it modified last okay so if I click on it, then you can say last modified date, date and time stamp is this. And okay, that this it. And if I open it now, what will I do? I will remove this. And let me go back and let me click on this plus button. Now you can see many arguments have been deleted automatically. Okay, because that doesn't exist in the with the folder name so now you can see we have this child item and let me let me choose one two more let me choose uh, exist and let me choose let me choose item type okay let me debug it now you can see it will return some information whether the folder is present or not it will return to okay see exists to it means our folder is present item name is files item type is folder okay and child item is testing.csv testing3.csv you can see we can retrieve to the you know to the folder which i discussed before like if we have one folder and we want to know we want to know how many files and what type of files are present in it then we can use this get metadata activity and then what we can do we can use this result okay 
we can use this result in some of the subsequent activities or pipelines we can say so i will give you one example let me go back and let me give here a name testing testing dot csv okay and let me click on it and let me debug it oh sorry let me let me choose item type let me choose structure also so if i click on it and let me choose the structure let me cancel and i'll debug it once more so you can see you can see we have this structure id and name suppose you want to copy the data from blob into the sql server or azure sql database so there you need a schema to create a table okay but this schema gets changed frequently very oftenly so what you can do you can use this get metadata activity to create a table instead of writing manually so i will tell you this thing in the next video how can i use this get metadata activity output in some other pipeline or some other activities okay so you can also try it out and comment in the uh, comment me or dm me i will tell you the solution okay so most probably i will upload that video tomorrow or day after tomorrow i hope you have liked that video and if you do do subscribe and share to share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited thank you